Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your db.json file into your own JSON server. So you can see we have created this endpoint where you can hit and do all the post, patch, put, delete request in this. In short, you can create all the CRUD operations here on this endpoint. And uh, this is your own data. You can add as much as data you want in this resources. So uh, why do we need this? Suppose we are creating any projects and you are storing your data into db.json file. So there, when you will deploy your uh, project into websites like Netlify or Verson or some other websites, you will find that your db.json data is not deployed there. So in order to fix that issue, we have come with the solution that we will deploy our db.json manually and then we can use this endpoint to do fetch request or excuse request and we can uh, get all the data from there. It is very easy to deploy your data into this format and then you can use this uh, data anywhere in your projects. So uh, just follow my steps. So let's get started. So in order to do that, you need to go to your GitHub. Here you can create a new repository. Click on this new button and then you can write the name of your repository. Suppose I'm writing project data. Then you need to select the owner for this repository. So I'm selecting myself as the owner. Make sure you make this uh, repository public and then you can hit on this button, create a repository. Now your repository has been created. Now you need to go to your VS code. You can open the terminal from here. The repository is in online directory. In order to use the repository, we need to clone this repository first. So for that, we will write the command git clone. Then copy the link from here, paste it and hit enter. Now you can see that your repository has been cloned. So in order to go inside this folder, you need to write cd and the repository name. So now you are inside your uh, git repository. The first step is to add package.json file. In order to do that, write this command npm init hyphen y. Now this command will create package.json data for you. Go inside this and you can see this. So this package.json is missing some dependency. So we need to install it. So write npm i json server so you need to install all this dependency after writing this command hit enter it will take some time you need to write here one command which is start here you need to write node index.js. So now you are done with packet.json file. All you need to do is you need to create this index.js file. So in order to do that, click on this button and write index.js. So I will provide you this URL in my description box. All you need to do is follow me from here and you can make this repository a star. and click on it. So you can see this index.js, just go there and you can see this 10 line of code. All you need to do is copy the code from here. Once it is copied, paste it here. Now you are done with index.js file also. You can see this node modules. So what you need to do is you need to add one more file, git ignore. And here you write node modules. Just create db.json file. Now the final step is to add all the data that you need to deploy. For that, write it in a curly braces. Suppose this is the data that I want to deploy. I will copy it and I will paste it here. Here you need to write a name. Suppose I write smartphone. So now 
once you have added all the data that you need to deploy, you will need to follow this simple three commands, which is git add, git commit, then git push origin name. We can see that uh, the data has been pushed in our Git repository. Now, once you will go there and refresh it, all the changes that we have made is being updated here. Now, in order to deploy that, you need to go to this website, render. You can see this first link, render.com. Just click on it. If you are entering this website for the first time, you can click on this button, get started for free, sign up this website with your GitHub account and then you will get this kind of email so it will ask you to verify your email you can click on this link and your email will be verified so after doing all the steps you need to go to so here you can see your previous deployed data as well as you can add the new data from here so click on this button new then go to web service now for here you can see connect your repository so here you will find all that GitHub repository which you have in your account. If you don't find all your repository here, you can go to this config account and you can connect your name with this. So all this repository will be present here. So just now we have created this project data and we need to connect this. So hit on that button connect and just give it a name. So here you can give any name and then come down and here you will find create web services click on it then you will get this data in progress it means your data is being deployed wait for it it will take some time previously it was in progress now it is live that means we can access our data from here click on this link and then you will find your data below this resources so once you will click on this you will find all that db.json data are present here and you are getting this link so uh, you can make this from this link you can make fetch request uh, or axios request you may have this doubt that what if after some time i felt that this much data is not enough and i want more so what you can do, you can add a comma here and you can bring uh, whatever data you want to add. Suppose this, you can copy this data and paste it here. You need to write a name. So once you have updated your db.json, all you need to do is you need to write three commands, which is git add git commit git push origin name now once your data has been pushed successfully you can find your data will be updated here as well as when you will go to this vendor you will find that your data is uh, automatically deployed you don't need to worry about you no need to worry about deploying again and again once the data is updated on your git account github account it will be automatically updated here so this is all for today i hope you like this video and if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section below thank you so much